the first flight carrying foreigners out of Afghanistan since the US-led evacuation ended last week. It landed in the Qatari capital Doha on Thursday evening, with just over 100 passengers on board, including US and European citizens. Qatar has been working alongside Turkey to get Kabul's airport up and running, while Doha's special envoy to Afghanistan praised the successful international flight. He added that a full resumption of services would not be immediate. Today is an historic day for this airport, as we reopen it for international flights. The reopening may be gradual, though. While the flight will offer hope to those still stranded in Afghanistan, the fate of the Afghan people is hanging in the balance. On Thursday, the United Nations appealed to the world to keep money flowing into the country in order to prevent social and economic catastrophe. Basic services are collapsing in Afghanistan and food and other life-saving resources are running out. Pakistani military aircraft delivered aid to Kabul airport on Thursday, the first in a series of planned relief flights. Pakistan's foreign minister has urged the international community not to make humanitarian assistance conditional upon political developments under the Taliban. Obviously the world is watching and they are looking at uh, the conduct of the new political setup. If you're not ready for immediate economic aid or development, fine. But do not take steps that would lead to an economic collapse. His appeal comes a day after the EU voiced disapproval at the makeup of the Taliban's interim government, saying that they had not honoured the pledge to include women and other religious groups. The bloc added that while it would continue to offer assistance, longer-term aid would depend upon the Taliban upholding basic freedoms in Afghanistan.